Welcome to part two of Famous Celebrity News's memorial tribute to the unforgettable public figures who died in 2023. If you haven't seen part one yet, you can find it on Famous Celebrity News YouTube channel. Singer-songwriter Gordon Lightfoot is known for classic songs like Sundown and The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Lightfoot is remembered as one of Canada's greatest songwriters, a 16-time Juno Award winner whose music influenced many other artists. He died May 1st of natural causes at the age of 84. Actress Eileen Saki was the third and final actress to play Rosie, the owner of Rosie's Bar on the classic Korean War sitcom M Asterisk A Asterisk S Asterisk H. Saki is also remembered for roles in movies and TV shows such as Splash, Good Times, and The Greatest American Hero. She died May 1st of pancreatic cancer at the age of 79. Singer Linda Lewis was known for hit singles like It's in His Kiss and rock a doodle do Sung in her dynamic five-octave vocal range, Lewis is also remembered for singing backing vocals for artists like David Bowie and Cat Stevens. She died May 3rd at the age of 72. Vita Blue was an MVP and Cy Young award-winning pitcher who led the Oakland Athletics to three consecutive World Series victories in the 1970s with his powerful fastball. Blue is remembered as one of the most intimidating pitchers of his era. He died May 6th of cancer at the age of 73. Opera singer Grace Bumbleau was a mezzo-soprano who rose to prominence as one of the genre's first black superstars. Bumbleau is remembered for her widely acclaimed performances in operas like Carmen, Macbeth, and Porgy and Bess. She died May 7th of complications from a stroke at the age of 86. Larry Mayan was a professional rodeo star who won five consecutive world championships in the 1960s and 70s. Mayan captured the public's attention in the Oscar-winning documentary The Great American Cowboy, which helped popularize rodeo around the U.S. He died May 7th of cancer at the age of 79. Denny Crum was the longtime head coach of the University of Louisville's basketball team leading them to two NCAA championships in the 1980s. Crum is remembered as a major figure in college sports history and a member of the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. He died May 9th at the age of 86. Jacqueline Zahn was a four-time Emmy-winning actress who spent more than 40 years on the daytime soap opera General Hospital. Zahn is remembered for playing Nurse Bobby Spencer, one of the show's most beloved characters. She died May 9th of cancer at the age of 70. Poker player Doyle Brunson was a gambling legend, a 10-time World Series of Poker bracelet winner, and the first player to win $1 million. Brunson is remembered as the godfather of poker, a poker hall of famer, and one of the most influential players in history. He died May 14th at the age of 89. Pro wrestler Wayne Coleman, better known as superstar Billy Graham, was a three-time WWF champion in the 1970s who helped revolutionize the wrestler interview as an entertainment form all its own. Graham is also remembered as a close friend of Arnold Schwarzenegger and an award-winning bodybuilder. He died May 17th of sepsis and organ failure at the age of 79. Football star Jim Brown was a Hall of Fame running back for the Cleveland Browns who led his team to the NFL Championship in 1964. Brown is remembered as one of the greatest players of all time, a civil rights activist, and an actor from such movies as The Dirty Dozen and 100 Rifles. He died May 18th of natural causes at the age of 87. Actor and singer Ed Ames was best known as Mingo on the 1960s TV western Daniel Boone. Ames is also remembered for his hit songs, including My Cup Runneth Over and When the Snow is on the Roses. He died May 21st of Alzheimer's disease at the age of 95. Actor Ray Stevenson was known for his role as Titus Polo in the HBO drama Rome and for playing the dark Jedi Balance Skull in the Star Wars series Ahsoka. Stevenson is also remembered for roles in movies like Thor, Punisher, Warzone, and the Divergent series, among others. He died May 21st at the age of 58.
Musical superstar Tina Turner was called the queen of rock and roll. Her hit songs included Proud Mary, River Deep, Mountain High, and What's Love Got to Do With It. Turner is also remembered for her starring role in the movie Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, playing the tough leader of Barter Town, Andy Entity. She died May 24th of natural causes at the age of 83. Actor and singer George Maharis is remembered for starring as Buzz Murdoch on the 1960s TV show Route 66, where he played half of a duo traveling the U.S. in search of adventure. Maharis is also remembered for his hit single Teach Me Tonight, as well as from movies like The Satan Bug and The Desperados. He died May 24th from hepatitis at the age of 94. Model and entrepreneur Jackie O was a star of the MTV sketch comedy show Wild and Out. O is also remembered as a mother of three and the partner of comedian DC Youngfly. She died of complications from cosmetic surgery on May 31st at the age of 32. Musician George Winston was known for his chart-topping New Age piano recordings of the 1980s and 90s, including Autumn Forest and December. Winston is also remembered for his tributes to the music of The Doors and Vince Guaraldi. He died June 4th of cancer at the age of 73. Singer and songwriter Ostrud Gilberto was best known for singing the bossa nova classic The Girl from Ipanema. Gilberto is also remembered for her duet with George Michael, Desafinado. She died June 5th at the age of 83. Pro wrestler Hussein Kazro Ali Viziri was better known as the Iron Sheik, one of the greatest wrestling villains of the 1980s, a former WWF World Heavyweight Champion. The Iron Sheik went on to become a social media icon in later years. He died June 7th from cardiac arrest at the age of 81. Televangelist Pat Robertson was the founder of the Christian Broadcasting Network and the longtime host of the 700 Club. Robertson was a polarizing figure in American culture, frequently condemning homosexuality and other religions. In 1988, he ran for the Republican nomination for President of the United States. He died June 8th at the age of 93. Mystery novelist Carol Higgins Clark was the author of the best-selling Reagan Riley series, including the books Decked, Jinxed, and Knocked. She is also remembered as the daughter of mystery author Mary Higgins Clark with whom she collaborated on several stories. She died June 12th of appendix cancer at the age of 66. Comic book artist John Romita Sr. was beloved as the classic Spider-Man artist whose work defined the character's style and established him as the mascot for Marvel Comics. Romita is also remembered for co-creating characters like Wolverine, Mary Jane Watson, and The Punisher, and for creating the book, How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way. He died June 12th of natural causes at the age of 93. Actor Treat Williams was best known for his roles in the film, Hair, and such television shows as Everwood and Chesapeake Shores. Williams is also remembered for appearing in Prince of the City, Once Upon a Time in America, and Deep Rising. He died June 12th after a motorcycle accident at the age of 71. Writer Cormac McCarthy was known for vivid, violent novels such as No Country for Old Men, The Road, and All the Pretty Horses. McCarthy's books have been turned into unforgettable films, and he is widely regarded as one of the greatest writers of his time. He died June 13th of natural causes at the age of 89. Actress and politician Glenda Jackson was an award-winning performer who took home Oscars for Women in Love and A Touch of Class. Jackson is also remembered for winning a Tony and several Emmys and for serving in the UK Parliament for more than 20 years. She died June 15th following a brief illness at the age of 87. Hall of Fame football player Bob Brown was known as the Boomer, thanks to his intimidating presence and aggressive style of play. Brown is remembered as a star player in the 1960s and 70s for the Philadelphia Eagles, Los Angeles Rams, and Oakland Raiders. He died June 12th of a stroke at the age of 81. Rapper Milton Powell, better known as Big Pokey, helped pioneer the chopped and screwed style of hip-hop, which includes slowed down beats and cut up audio samples. Big Pokey is remembered for songs like Sittin' Sideways and Southside Royalty Freestyle. He died of a heart attack on June 18th at the age of 48. 
Actor Alan Arkin is known for his Academy Award-winning role as Edwin Hoover in the film Little Miss Sunshine. Arkin is also remembered for his work in more than 80 other films, including Wait Until Dark, The In-Laws, Glengarry Glen Ross, and Argo. He died of heart problems on June 29th at the age of 89. Wrestler Darren D.A.V. was a rising star of the WWE in the 1990s, known as Draws, before an accident in the ring left him paralyzed. Draws is remembered for the strength and resilience he showed after his accident, as well as for his later work as a wrestling commentator. He died June 30th at the age of 54. Singer and actress Coco Lee was the voice of F.A. Mulan in the Mandarin version of Disney's animated Mulan. Lee is also remembered for her 2002 Oscar ceremony performance of A Love Before Time from Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. She took her own life on July 5th at the age of music, 48. Actress Andrea Evans is best known for her role in the 1970s and 80s as the fan-favorite character Tina Lord on the daytime soap opera, One Life to Live. Evans is also remembered for other soap appearances, including on Passions, The Young and the Restless, and The Bold and the Beautiful. She died July 9th of breast cancer at the age of 66. Writer Milan Kundera was the award-winning author from Czechoslovakia who wrote the novel The Unbearable Lightness of Being. Kundera is also remembered for the Oscar-nominated film based on his book and for his imaginative philosophical writing style. He died July 11th after a prolonged illness at the age of 94. Actress and singer Jane Birkin starred in such movies as Death on the Nile and Kaleidoscope, and she had a hit song with Je Tim. One on Plus. Birkin is also remembered as a fashion icon who inspired the sod after Birkin back. She died of cancer on July 16th at the age of 76. Legendary crooner Tony Bennett was one of the world's most famous singers for more than 70 years, thanks to iconic hits like Rags to Riches, Chicago, and his signature song, I Left My Heart in San Francisco. Bennett is also remembered for bringing traditional American pop standards to younger listeners through his two albums of duets with Lady Gaga. He died July 21st at the age of 96. Actress Inga Swenson played Gretchen Krauss, the cook in the governor's mansion on the 1980s sitcom Benson. Swenson is also remembered as a Tony Award-nominated Broadway star for her performances in 110 in the Shade and Baker Street. She died July 23rd of natural causes at the age of 90. Musician Randy Meisner was a founding member of the Eagles, playing bass and singing backing vocals until his departure from the band in 1977. Meisner is remembered as one of the Eagles' songwriters, co-writing Take It to the Limit and singing lead vocals on the track. He died July 26th of COPD at the age of 77. Singer Sinead O'Connor is best known for her huge 1990 single Nothing Compares to You, as well as songs like Mandinka and The Emperor's New Clothes. O'Connor is also remembered for her lifelong commitment to social protest, particularly against abuse in the Catholic Church. She died July 26th at the age of 56. Actor and comedian Paul Rubens was better known as Pee Wee Herman the star of TV's Pee-wee's Playhouse and the movie's Pee-wee's Big Adventure and Big Top Pee-wee. Rubens is also remembered for his appearances in movies like Buffy the Vampire Slayer and TV shows such as Murphy Brown and What We Do in the Shadows. He died July 30th of cancer at the age of 70. Actor Angus Cloud was one of the stars of the hit HBO series Euphoria. Cloud is remembered as a natural talent who had never acted before he was cast on the show. He died July 31st of an accidental drug overdose at the age of 25. TV personality Carol Duvall was the popular host of The Carol Duvall Show on HGTV and the DIY Network, where she shared crafting tips and tutorials. Duvall is remembered for always encouraging viewers to try a wide variety of arts and crafts. She died July 31st at the age of music, 97. Actor Mark Margolis became a fan favorite playing Hector Salamanca in the hit television shows Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. Margolis is also remembered for his work in the films Scarface, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, and My Big Fat Greek Wedding 2. He died August 3rd following a short illness at the age of 83. Disc jockey Willie Perry Jr., better known as DJ Casper, was the writer of the early 2000s hit Cha Cha Slide. 
DJ Casper is remembered for creating a song that became a standard at weddings, proms, and parties across the world. He died of kidney and liver cancer on August 7th at the age of 58. Filmmaker William Friedkin was the Oscar-winning director of The French Connection in the groundbreaking horror movie The Exorcist. Friedkin is also remembered for his work on films like Sorcerer, To Live and Die in L.A., and Rules of Engagement. He died August 7th of heart failure and pneumonia at the age of 87. Singer-songwriter Sixto Rodriguez captured the world's attention in the Academy Award-winning documentary about his music career, Searching for Sugar Man. Rodriguez is also remembered for his two cult classic folk albums of the 1970s, Cold Fact and Coming from Reality. He died August 8th from complications due to an earlier stroke at the age of 81. Songwriter and guitarist Robbie Robertson was the co-founder of the iconic rock group The Band, writing classic songs like The Wait and The Night They Drove Old Dixie Down. Robertson is also remembered for his career as a composer, including the soundtracks for films such as Raging Bull and The Wolf of Wall Street. He died August 9th of prostate cancer at the age of 80. Football player Maxi Bond was a Philadelphia Eagles Hall of Famer who went to the Pro Bowl five times in his six seasons with the team. Bond is also remembered for his years with the Los Angeles Rams, including another four Pro Bowl appearances. He died August 19th of natural causes at the age of 85. Actor Ron Cephas Jones won two Emmy Awards for his performance as William Hill on the television drama This Is Us. Jones is also remembered as a Tony Award nominee for his work in Clyde's and for such TV shows as Mr. Robot and Luke Cage. He died August 19th of pulmonary issues at the age of 66. Wrestler Terry Funk helped popularize a more physical hardcore style of wrestling over the course of his 50-year career. Funk is also known for his acting career, which included performances in Roadhouse, Paradise Alley, and other movies. He died August 23rd at the age of 79. Actress Hersha Parody is best remembered for her role on the TV classic, Little House on the Prairie, where she played school teacher Alice Garvey. Parody is also known for appearances in such TV shows as The Waltons and Keenan and Kel. She died August 23rd of a brain tumor at the age of 78. Wrestler Wyndham Rotunda was a third-generation pro wrestler and former WWE champion, best known by his ring name Bray Wyatt. Rotunda is remembered for his creative character work and his iconic lantern-wielding entrances. He died August 24th of a heart attack at the age of 36, following a battle with COVID-19. Actress Arlene Ean was the inspiration for the DC Comics character Harley Quinn and the first actress to voice Harley on Batman, the animated series. Ean is also remembered for her recurring role as the offbeat character Copy Jones on Days of Our Lives. She died August 24th of pneumonia and multiple sclerosis at the age of music, 67. Bob Barker was the longtime host of the popular game show The Price is Right, where he handed out prizes to excited participants after games of Plinko, Cliffhangers, and the Showcase Showdown. Barker is also remembered as an advocate for animal welfare, educating the public about spaying and neutering their pets. He died August 26th of Alzheimer's disease at the age of music, 99. Actor Gail Honeycutt starred on the classic nighttime soap opera Dallas as Vanessa Bott, an old flame of the show's central figure, J.R. Honeycutt is also remembered for her work in British films and television, including a memorable performance in The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes as Irene Adler. She died August 31st at the age of 80. Hit subscribe to follow Famous Celebrity News on YouTube to be notified when our tributes go live. We'll see you soon with our next video.